Oh, running away. Just, what? So what did you hear? What, what did you hear is the story? What's the real story about Sierra Estrada? Tell me, please. Oh, it's great. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you for the send off, San Diego. I love you. I wish we could have spend more time together, but I'm a prisoner of the FBI. And I'll miss you, America. You will not be able to stay home, brother. Sierra Estrada? Sierra? Estrada. Sierra. It's Sierra. Just, just six years ago, she was literally murdered by a San Diego cop, and none of you heard of her? What about you guys? Sierra Estrada? You've never heard of a San Diego police officer named Sierra Estrada that eight million people have seen her be nice to me and then a San Diego cop shot her in the head. That's not what happened. That's exactly what happened. They told her family it was a suicide. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. They felt the family was a suicide, but it wasn't. That's not what happened. Oh. How many women shoot themselves like this? Look at me. Hey guys, in the, in the truck, this is where she shot herself. That's not, that's not that's not what happened. Uncle Tom, all right, you guys have a great day. Fucking unreal. That's unreal. Oh, we never heard of her. She was only a cop wearing our uniform who was killed by a cop wearing our uniform six years ago, but you know, already forgotten. That's San Diego PD for you, and I'm still shaking. Some things you just can't let go. Sir, sir, oh, run away. What, so what did you hear? What, what did you hear is the story? What's the real story about Sierra Estrada? Tell me, please. Okay. You can't tell me? I want to know what you think happened to Sierra Estrada. Because you're the only one apparently who's ever heard of her. Yeah? So I'm getting ready to go to Mexico, and I'm just pacing in my storage unit. It's sort of like a Zendo. Zendo with doors. <laughs> like the Matrix, bro. It's a Zendo in the Matrix. It's a Zendo with an endo. And then you turn around, though, and do it again, though. So, so this, this is, is going to be, be a two, two camera, camera shot. shot. Obviously. Obviously. Think, Think somebody's, somebody's there. there. Sir, and what was your name again? Michael. Your full name? Michael Watson. Okay. So, just, just to be clear though, today's Saturday. And, and on last Saturday, I came to this location with having reserved a ground floor unit twice. Then I was told there are no ground floor units. Like that, it's like that Seinfeld episode about the, uh, you know, when you have a reservation, that holds the thing. Like, I had a reservation. How is there not a ground floor when I walked all the way up here? But that was, that was last Saturday. Now it's Saturday again and I'm standing out front and you're telling me you can't just authorize her to pay me the money in cash. So, so until Monday. Monday's the earliest I will see my money. Yeah. But you could just tell her, go ahead and pay him cash. Because you don't care. What do you care if it, which transaction it, it happens at? You screwed up multiple times. So why do I have to still wait for my money? That makes no sense to me. I'm standing here. She, you, could, you could authorize, hey, just give him the 46 bucks. And you, know, you, you take it from one column on a spreadsheet and you put it in the other column. And everyone wins. But you're telling me somehow you waited an entire week to do this action because I, I saw her call you or the other manager she said he's done it it's on the way to you your money that was last Saturday it's now Saturday again and you're telling me again you're gonna work on it today like it's not like a button you press why is a refund so difficult I that's what I want to know well the door just opened can I make it Great. Stop to film it, and now I'm not gonna make it before the door closes. Nope. Explain to me the process for your 
having to get started on it later today. Like you're gonna be sitting in front of a computer for an hour working on my refund. Can you explain that to me? Why didn't you do that before you called me? Because what? But yesterday. See, I called and asked to talk to a supervisor almost 24 hours ago. And this is my callback? Really? Because she told me you were on the phone and would call me right back when you were off the phone. Wow. So the girl at the call center lied and said you were on the phone on another call and you would call me back. Here it comes. Biggest thing on the planet. It's about to touch my toe. Reject it again. No, I specifically said, why would I want to talk to the store? The store screwed me over and has no power to refund my money. Why would I talk to the store again? That makes no sense. None of this makes any sense, bro. Did he give me a call? I want my money. Why can't you authorize the cash? By law? Is that a law? Or is that just a company policy you could override because you screwed up and made me wait a, a, an entire week before you processed it, bro? I want my money today. Please, I'm standing in front of the unit. You can authorize her to pay me out in cash. Why can't you? Then let me talk to your boss. Thank you. I'll be waiting here. I'm, I'm out front. I'm waiting until you, you get back to me. Okay? Thanks. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Jesus, under new management. Shut the fuck up. Who are they? Oh, they're, they're Prime Storage. And yeah, who owns them? Uh, it's Prime Storage. It's a company. Did he give you a call? Did he give me a call? Yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't told you that I've been waiting. Oh, there's Michael now. Wow. Hello? Uh, Mr. Harrison. Yes. Michael again. Hey, so your car has now been refunded for the amount. And you should see it on your checking. You should see it Monday. If not by Monday, you should see it by Tuesday morning. But it has been refunded. Monday or Tuesday. Yep. And all it took to get you to call me back was to walk into the office, huh? To walk into what office? Well, I'm, I'm curious. Um, the, the actual mistake that caused this had to have to be a refund, I'm trying to understand what happened to the room, the, uh, the storage space. Because, you know, the guy who's worked here for years, long before Prime came along, said there were multiple, multiple units available. He was pretty clear and pretty confident about that. And then I got here and then there was no units available. Why do you think that happened? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what did, what did uh, Francis here tell you? About what? She called you and sent you an email, or was that the other boss? No, that was him. Um, oh, I a week ago. Are you, I'm sorry. I, before, go ahead. Yeah, I had informed him that it must have been a mistake, because even on our website, it says it's inside access on the ground floor, and we didn't have any on the ground floor. Yeah. So I think the call center misunderstood, and I think Drake misunderstood as well. But I'm talking to Michael. Is it Michael? You remember that conversation now? Well, that that a disabled person showed up at the location, and then the lo person at the location called you, and we had this conversation a week ago. Do you remember it now? Sure. Okay. Good. Good. 
<sighs> but I didn't, I didn't reserve it on the website because she, she told you I did it on the website. I had nothing to do with the website. No, the call, the call center had done it and they go based off what is on our website. No, the guy who's worked here for years. Okay, sir, I understand yeah. that, but now we're just going around in circles. No, but I'm trying to figure I, out. I completely understand. I understand that you're trying to understand the situation. Uh -huh. Just unfortunately, it seems to be a misunderstanding from one person to the next. Um, I physically, you saw me go out the door and physically look at the units and just unfortunately. Did I? Did I see you? Can I see the units? Sir? Yeah. No, I, I, I believe that there are units and I'm just not allowed there to. There are units. They're just all upstairs. Oh, so I can show those don't to Don't believe you. you. What's it, sir? I didn't receive my refund. You're telling me I have to wait four more days for my refund. It has been, it has been refunded to your credit card. But which, you know what's weird is st uh, stacks across the street when they did the refund because they screwed up as well. Right, right into my bank. Instantaneously. You, you don't have those powers? Or? It's amazing. Sir, I'm going to ask you to leave the facility now. Okay. But you, right. you, don't, you don't know how to get the money to me any quicker than Tuesday. Ah. All righty then. Well, you have a fantastic day, sir. You do the same. Yeah, not much chance of that. Yeah, not much chance of that. So, tell me about this company. I mean, they're pretty new, at least here. Oh, I'm don't sorry. even start. Please, officer. Give me a bullshit. I know she's doing the crying thing. This woman who's been gaslighting me for a week. Did you take acting classes or? Sir, can you just leave the premises, please? I'm just I curious if you took to acting you. classes. My boss asked you to leave the premises. You did I not try to, to help me. I, I called midweek and you said the money should appear in my bank. But your system said it hadn't even been processed. I don't know what to tell you. It all tell me that you mind. lied. You I lied to me. I did not lie. I need you to leave the premises now. I need you to leave the premises. On my way. On my way. I mean, I was kind of hoping to have my money that they stole from me, but I guess I'll just leave without my money. I guess. Or whatever, let me put my, secure my phone. I won't be getting any money from the people who took my money a week ago. Oh, freezing. I love it. Oh, but it's cold. And, and who owns your company? I, I was on the website and there's no like about about us section. So who owns the website? I mean, who owns the company? I'm sure. Yeah, no, I get that. But what is the, I mean, some mysterious shell company run out of the Cayman Islands or? No, it's a, it's a, big, it's a large company that's 250 stores. No, I get you have a lot of stores. I just want to know about the owners. You don't know anything about your corporate structure? I'm just trying to figure out. So, just, just to be clear though, today's Saturday. And, and on last Saturday, I came to this location with having reserved a ground floor unit twice. Then I was told there are no ground floor units. Should he have that look on his face? I mean, he's, I get that they're selling the school. She should have that look. I mean, that could be very important there. And she's doing science, but I don't know why a first responder would be in that situation making that grin. A little weird. This guy's like, uh, this hurts. <laughs> I love this shit. So I just kept walking with the Ralph's cart. This is a good one. This one goes straight. To that thing right there. Hey, look, it's the ocean. Look what I found.
<laughs> and I'd, I'd say I'm crying because they're playing no, no Woman No Cry behind me and that's like kismic like right now the moment you play that but I have a feeling a beachfront restaurant right here plays that like every third song so I'm not going to read too much into it but here hey look don't look at me look at that <laughs> I made it I mean fucking made it do I even I don't think it goes in the sand I, oh no that's bad don't no don't, don't get it stuck in the sand dude it'll leave it up here I'll leave all my shit up here man right, I'm gonna figure this out so I did park it in the sand just keep an eye on it. I gotta go see this thing here. This, you know, the biggest thing on the planet. Oh, here it comes. Biggest thing on the planet. It's about to touch my toe. Reject it again. Oh, freezing. And I love it. Oh, but it's cold. See you next time. Ocean. So I'm just going about my business and then I have to get hit with 9-11 propaganda. This steel beam was recovered from ground zero and given to blah, blah, blah. This steel beam here. There's still beam here that was cut by explosives. Actually, that was, I'm sure, just pieced off. But the point is, Dick Cheney, never forget, never forget that Dick Cheney did 9-11. Never forget that. Never forget that science has proven that Building 7 must have come down from controlled demolition. Building 7 that was never hit with a plane that housed the FBI and all the security services. Yeah, their building was rigged with explosives and collapsed into its own footprint. And that has now been scientifically proven that 9-11 was an inside job! Now I gotta go. I love you, America, with all of my heart. But now I gotta go. Is it? Let me see if it is. 
Yeah, it's recording. Okay, I can barely see because it's very bright out here and I can't turn up. And see. Did I lose my... Everything's secure. Everything's secure. That goes there. And I'm out.